We talk about the uh, the walkway and pretty much all the walkways. Uh, they're pavers from Menards. I think they're six by nines and six by six squares. I can't remember the pattern. I think it's mustard pattern is what I did paver wise. I installed it all myself. Everything you're looking at I actually did myself. Um, pavers are actually, uh, I've had to take out a bunch of ground with the tractor. Um, and then I had to put six inches of gravel down along with one inch of sand. Now, it's not hard to figure out like the elevations and how that all plays in with the back. Uh, it's just manually hard on you. It's probably the toughest job I've ever done. Now the look is phenomenal and I love it the way it looks. But the amount of work I had to put in to get that thing down and the toll on my body, I'm not sure if the, if the price was right for that. As you look at the walkway, you can see it's bordered real nicely. I've got this uh, mulch bed here. It definitely needs mulch this year. I did a lot of digging. I had to add electrical after the fact. I have an irrigation water line running underneath it. And I also have a gas line running underneath it. I have propane gas to the right. You can see the lid. It's in the ground. So it's a 500 gallon tank in the ground. It only runs my water heater and my cooking devices like my grill and my stove top in the kitchen. So I just use propane for that. I have geothermal on the property. So that's where my heating source comes from. You can see I got a couple of green giant or three green giant uh, trees there. They get the pine shape. Um, they look pretty good. Uh, they'll, they'll get bigger. I think they end up being about uh, 12 feet tall, maybe a six foot spread. I want them to kind of give me a little more privacy. As we walk down the walkway here, we're leading into the patio section of this uh, area. Uh, we really like this area a lot. The chairs are phenomenal. I got them online. If I can think about where, I'll put them in the description. Um, they're not perfectly circled right now because it's winter and I really haven't, well I guess it's spring, but I really haven't had a chance to get out here and clean things up yet. But you're looking at a solo stove in the center, great a fireplace if you don't have a solo stove. Uh, look into those. There's all kinds of reviews on YouTube about them. Uh, smokeless fire pit. Uh, it's really, really um, a nice tool and it fits that space really well. It's the biggest one they sell. I can't remember the name of it. But I'll put a description in, um, a link in the description if I can find one. Weber Smoky Mountain Grill, my old smoker before I got my Yoder. Haven't used it since. Uh, I'm not sure if I ever will. I love that grill, but I'm not sure if I ever have a need for it again. Now, what I like about this patio area is the woods. Uh, right now, it's you know coming out of winter, so it's pretty bare back there. But when summer kicks in, you'll see um, you can't see through those woods at all. It's completely dark. It gives you a lot of privacy. It keeps the area cool. Now, surprisingly enough, this area does get a lot of sun. Um, right now for sure but even in the summertime once the Sun gets about noon time um, the whole walkway gets a pretty good dose of Sun now up against the house it's still pretty shaded it is the north side of the house so I had to keep that in mind when I plant plants in there but for the most part um, it does get a lot of Sun even though there's a lot of tree cover back here you can see I have a little bit of an elevation issue here not an issue but I do have elevation I love elevation and landscapes I think it looks great uh, I still got to trim these out and mulch all these beds. Uh, the, the ground was brought in around the smokehouse late last year. I've let it just kind of sit there all winter long, kind of compact. Um, I'll straighten that up this year and make that look really neat and crisp uh, with some nice mulch lines. That's a maple tree you're looking at to the right there. They were already on the property. Now that tree to the left right there, I've got several of these. They're magnolia. I think Sweet Bay is the name. They have a lemon lime flower that comes in midsummer. Smell phenomenal. I think I got four or five of those, and uh, they're really cool plants. We'll talk about those later. Directly ahead there in the dirt, I plan on putting a koi pond in this area. Uh, I need to use the dirt in the front landscape for a mound uh, to prevent my wife and children from driving in my grass. So I plan on digging that out this spring and moving that dirt up front. To the right, I'll have shrubs and bushes. And as we walk forward, this was the part that was put in all last fall. The paper sidewalks, the posts, and the partial roof. This is what I'm calling the smokehouse. This will be the future home of my Yoder um, smoker. It will be underneath the part that's already roofed slightly. The upper part, I haven't put the gable roof in there yet. That's an upcoming project, probably within the next month. I'll bring you along on that one. But I need to put the gable roof with some steel uh, roofing panels. And then this building will remain open such as this for the most part. I used uh, 6x6 timber as posts. I put those posts in first and then I came along and did the paperwork after the fact. Uh, the posts are in three foot deep, I think three bags of concrete in each one. And my goal last year, I obviously wanted to get it all done last year, but it didn't happen with the weather. 
my goal was to at least get it boxed in so the post will stay straight. And you can see at the upper part of the post, there's a two by eight that runs around the perimeter of it. That's just to keep those posts from you know going crooked on me as they sat all winter long. It's pretty square up there. I think it's 133 inches, one diagonal to 133 and a quarter going the other diagonal, which is really good for that, that length. The lower area there uh, where the smoker's gonna go, that, that came out pretty true too. So not real good at putting posts in the ground, I guess. Maybe I'm better than I think I am, but I always worry about them being straight. But uh, you know, if you use the lines and you bring them along slowly and you, and you double check your math and work, um, it turns out pretty good. You can see these top posts will be cut down to the height of the two by eights eventually. I left them high for now until I got the roof structure up. Like I said, I've got the uh, lumber, I've got the steel in order. I think the steel's back ordered. The lumber's in stock, but I'm not sure if I want it quite yet. I've got some other things in front of this I want to do. So I'm going to delay that delivery a few weeks at least and see if I can get it all delivered together. Obviously, I got more uh, mount, mounted areas there for grade. That trampoline's on the way out. I've told my daughter already I'm done looking at it, so I want to get rid of it. I've got some grade issues back there. I need to get the tractor back there when it dries up to help the water get out of there. But for the most part, um, this thing's in a really good spot. I can work on solid, uh, solid surface. I don't have to worry about mud. So once I get that wood back there, um, this roof will go up extremely easy. And there's not much to it. I think it's a 612 pitch is what I got projected and both ends are open so we're gonna put a big hanging light inside and then we got some of those more of those um, I don't know what they're called the hanging lights that are above the patio uh, they'll go inside there I do have power ran to this right now I'll have water in it too basically water from the irrigation system uh, it seems like I always need water around the smoker it's nice to have that um, but for the most part, um, I think I got everything I need out there. I definitely want to put some speakers, maybe a TV out there too. So I've got some big plants. I love outside living uh, spaces. Um, the patio is phenomenal. That covered porch, I'll give you a tour of that covered porch sometime. That's a pretty neat uh, covered porch. The windows are really unique. Um, it's a great place to hang out too. So between the porch, uh, the covered porch, the patio, and then the smokehouse, I've got three different options I can use. Um, to be outside among the trees and you know the grass landscapes and all that good stuff this is that area I was talking about making that a koi pond don't really have details on that yet but that whole area I'm probably like you're gonna make a pond I do have irrigation throughout the property not the front field but around the house I have irrigation I put all that in last year it worked really well can't wait to start using it again this year hopefully nothing froze I had a professional landscape company come out and blow my lines out last year so I know I'm in good shape still have some work to do in these flower beds these are Japanese bushes of some sort and I got some uh, burning bushes uh, past them with a the dogwood on the corner but you can see it's a really really cool space it's a great place to just get away from everything and once this stuff grows in like these trees it's going to be really secluded back here and just a place I can hang watch the game do some smoking and uh, have a few drinks uh, with family and friends really looking forward to starting this project I can get that laundry room done it's in the final stages now um, and I've told myself I'm not starting this till I get the laundry room done that was a knockout list from my, from my wife this last winter but this one's the first one on the list. I'll probably take this along slowly uh, throughout the, at least the early months of summer or spring. Uh, when it gets to be too hot, it's not fun to work. The final touches I'm gonna put on this is uh, the, once I get the smokehouse done, I'm gonna put hanging baskets on the post that you're looking at right there with irrigation, drip irrigation to the baskets. That way I don't have to worry about watering them. I love the setting that the smokehouse is in. It's covered by trees, maple trees mainly. And like I said earlier, I love the pavers. The pavers are awesome. It's uh, you know, I did pavers because it's half the price of concrete, if not maybe even less than that. But the look is second to none. These things will last forever. I don't worry about cracks. Um, and the look is just you can't beat it. You know, if you got hard ground, good luck. Uh, I had a tractor and uh, that helped out dramatically. My dad helped me edge all the uh, borders on this thing for the most part. He was a machine when it came to cutting the pavers for me. Well, if you want to watch me finish this, finish building the smokehouse, add some electrical within, lights and TV sets, do some irrigation, 
not only in the yard but in the hanging baskets. Build a koi pond and add some landscaping lights and some new plants. You'll need to subscribe. If you could share with your friends and family, I'd appreciate it. And like I always say, I appreciate you spending time with the Home Pro Hero.